So I just got back from a weekend in Philly. I go there with a bunch of my friends around this time of year for Lantern Fest. Although this year, I don't think it was called Lantern Fest. I think a different company was just hosting it this year. But anyway, this event is held about an hour west of Philly. And if you've never heard of Lantern Fest, I highly suggest you look it up, buy tickets and go next year. This event is kind of like a festival where there's a stage with live entertainment, there's food vendors, there's merchant vendors, there's open areas in the field where you lie down your blanket and have a picnic with your friends. And basically, everyone just hangs out until the final event which is the lighting and releasing of the lanterns but unfortunately I'm not making this video to show you how awesome Lantern Fest is Lantern Fest just happens to be a good topic and setting to talk about how to film in low light one of the biggest challenges in filming in low light is obviously the lack of light as we all should already know light shines onto objects and then bounces into our eye and our brains interpret that as images the camera is the exact same way light will shine onto objects bounce into the lens and and then onto the sensor, and then the camera's computer will interpret that as an image. The more light there is, the more light we could take in, and the more information that we could process. Now, our eyes do a much better job at interpreting low light information than any camera does. Probably with the exception of like the RED and ARRI cameras or like ProLine cinema cameras, but I don't have that. So we're just gonna talk about what this camera could do. Quick recap, I'm shooting on the Canon SL2 and I've stated in plenty of my other videos that the low light performance on this is not ideal. Also a recap on how to shoot cinematic footage is that your shutter speed has to be double the frame rate and if you want to maintain a blurry background, your aperture has to be wide open, leaving you with only ISO to expose properly. But we know that bumping up that ISO will introduce noise and grain into the footage. So the question becomes, how can we get usable footage in low light situations with all of these restrictions? Tip number one is to have a fast lens. This lens is a Canon 50 millimeter prime and it stops down all the way to f1.8. At f1.8, the aperture is going to be wide open, more light is going to be allowed to get through, the image is going to be overall brighter, and you're going to get a super shallow depth of field, so a nice bokeh in the background. And secondly, you're going to have to build a picture profile that's going to have enough contrast so that way the highlights stand out and whatever is supposed to be dark gets darker. The thing with shooting at night is that you don't necessarily have to see everything. It's at night. All you really have to see is what's meant to be seen. All other details could be hidden in the shadows. Now, as a personal preference, I don't actually shoot with a picture profile with high contrast. Even in low light scenarios, I shoot with a Technicolor Cinestyle picture profile to give me a little bit more dynamic range, but I only do this so that way I could see what has to be in focus. And then in post, I will just crush those shadows so that way it creates the contrast that we were talking about. An absolute last resort, if I need to, I will bump up that ISO. It's going to look like shit. There's going to be tons of noise and grain. But Neat Video came out with a new version, Neat Video 5, which is supposed to be very good at reducing noise without losing any detail. All right, Kev, that's enough. Time to shut up. It's time to edit this Lantern Fest video or the night light event fest video, whatever it's called. Pretty dope, right? Once the lanterns are lit and then everyone releases them at the same time, the sky is just breathtaking. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, don't be afraid to show me some love and hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. I do have some more videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.